Hey everybody, happy Sunday. Before I get on with the video, I'm going to give you guys a life update because you guys haven't seen me in over a month. And technically, this past month that I've been missing is the last month of my schooling. This week coming is all my exams and you probably won't get a video next Sunday because of the exams. After this week coming, videos should be on track and they should be every week hopefully because I'll have the time to record and I won't be stressing about all the exams. And I can't believe that I am finishing my TAFE course which I've which is technically my year 12. Once the TAFE course is done, so it will free up a whole lot of time, so I can make videos for you guys, and be a weekly uploader. But like I said, don't expect a video next Sunday, because I will be really tired, and I won't have the time in between exams to film a video. Well, don't expect a video from me. I'm pretty sure one of the alternates will fill in. But anyway, back onto the video. As we all know, tomorrow Paul is turning 76. Yay! And this video is all going to be about the time I saw Paul McCartney live. My dad and I saw Paul on the 11th of December last year. It was amazing. And that's what this video is all going to be about. We bought tickets to see Paul off eBay because the tickets that we wanted on the website were all sold out. So we resorted to eBay to get our tickets and we found a pair of tickets that were pretty good seats and decided to buy them. Then a couple of weeks later we were over at, our, at my grandparents' house and they're saying, you better make sure the tickets are real because we bought them online off ebay so that kind of freaked us out a little bit but we thought no they have to be real we were quite optimistic about it but in the back of our minds we always had to make sure like these could be fake and then on the day of the concert paul mccartney put up on his twitter answer this question to win two tickets to see him in sydney that night and I entered it to just be precautious of the tickets and that they could be fake. So I entered. I remember the answer was the New World Tour. I think the question was somewhere along the lines of what was the last tour that Paul did in Australia or something like that. But um, I entered and that was about 9 o'clock in the morning. About two hours later, I got a direct message on Twitter from Paul saying, you have won two tickets to see Paul live in Sydney. I'll put the screenshot. When that happened, I freaked out. Once I saw the message and I finished my fangirl attack, because my dad was at work that day, I called him up and I said, Dad, I want a pair of tickets to Paul McCartney. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, I just won tickets. And he's like, how? Over Twitter? And, and, and I'm like, Paul McCartney actually noticed me. My grandparents picked us up when it was time to leave and drove us over to Kudos Bank Arena where the concert was being held. There were so many people. <laughs> like, the atmosphere was absolutely brilliant. There was people walking around in Sergeant Pepper outfits. And like they had the the um, Paul shirts on and the Beatle shirts, it's it was absolutely amazing. Um, because we got there a bit early, we went and got all our merchandise and t-shirts and programs and stuff like that first. Then we put our bags in the cloakroom, and I went to grab the tickets that I won from the little ticket stand. And we had a look at the seats. They were in the pretty much right in front of the stage and a couple of rows back. And we decided to use them tickets. But we checked if the tickets we bought off eBay were real and they were. So we didn't have to worry in the first place. 
So we decided to use the tickets that we won. We went in once the doors opened, we had dinner, and then we decided to go take our seats. And the atmosphere of a, of that was amazing. It was completely packed. It was truly amazing how many people were there. <laughs> And coming up was playing while well, everybody was kind of like talking and sitting. Everybody was sitting down at this point. As soon as the lights dimmed, everybody stood up and screamed and I walked Paul McCartney. And as soon as I saw that man's face, I lost it. I was bawling my eyes out. I had to literally give my phone to my dad so he could take photos through the first couple of songs because I was just crying and I was singing. <laughs> I wasn't very loud but I was silent crying if that makes sense. It was just so exciting. Once I regained my strength to hold my phone and not cry as much, I, I did film some of the songs. Before I put any of the songs up, I'm going to do a disclaimer. If you hear me singing, I'm sorry. I was si scream singing. I wasn't actually singing singing. So it sounds awful because we were all trying to just be as loud as we could. Another disclaimer on the filming. I wasn't actually looking at my phone while I was filming because I'm really short. I kind of had to be on my tippy toes and hold my phone above my head where I couldn't see it. So it's kind of just where it is is kind of where it is. But I think that kind of adds to the experience if someone else sees it. And I wasn't really watching through my phone either. I was watching Paul the whole time. probably freaked out the most and got really happy was when they did in spite of all the danger there's something about that song that I just absolutely love and when he got the audience to sing along they'd show the audience on the screens behind them it was just it was amazing and we tried to spot each other out and in one of the videos you could hear my dad go Hey, did you see us? And I'm like, what? We were up there. Didn't you see us? And I'm like, it's probably on the camera.
to figure out where me and Dad are kind of pop up on the screen in two. One in In Spite of All the Danger and the other in Hey Jude. So I'm still trying to find where we are on the screen. <laughs> Spectacular number was definitely live and let die because of the fire and the fireworks and literally everybody was jumping around. <laughs> nearly four hours and I did not see him have a drink of water like he's 75 for God's sake how the hell did he go four hours without having a drink I don't get how Paul went nearly four hours without having a drink through that concert it amazes me <laughs> he performed maybe I'm amazed in honor of Linda maybe I'm amazed Consider it a rewrite, but I think I'm going to start again. Yeah. I mean, it proves we're live, right? chance and here today for John and he performed something for George something in the way she moves Woo! try to be like the world of me something in the way she moves me don't want to leave her now you know I will leave her now And 
what was absolutely magical about them four songs was the crowd was singing along, but it was kind of solemn. It was very respectful. And I looked over at Dad during um, something and we both kind of shivered. I swear George, John and Linda were there that night in some weird sense. You could feel there was something else apart from the crowd there. And it wasn't strong, but especially during them four songs, you could feel like there was them there. I remember the vast different of age groups in that audience that night was so funny. There was literally, I, I think I saw a young boy who was about, I'd say six, five or six at the most and he was dancing his little heart out to Paul McCartney and I just I found that so amazing and during the Sgt Pepper reprise I looked over and there was this grandmother and she was going crazy she was absolutely loving it and she was dancing and I'm and it was just, it was hilarious. It was absolutely, it was so funny. I have to also say that Paul was, um, like, wasn't just amazing when he was singing. The way he interacted with the audience. He, he read signs and stuff from on the stage. And he, he yelled things back at the audience when we yelled something at him. It was quite it was definitely an experience. Once the concert was over, I felt it was a strange feeling. It was like a, a sense that I've accomplished something or I don't know, some sort of strange feeling. It was just magical. <laughs> so for tomorrow, I wish Paul a happy 76th birthday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know this channel has a vast audience of uh, people of different ages so if you've seen any of the Beatles live if you've seen Paul if you've seen Ringo now or whatever comment down your stories of the times that you've seen them I'd love to hear them I will see you guys not next Sunday I'll see you guys in two weeks this is Shine signing out <laughs>